five, four, we've gone for main engine start. Off of America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. The fact that I was going to be the first American woman to go into space carried huge expectations along with it. It wasn't for me um, a desire to be the first African American in space because I figured being the number two guy would be a lot more. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Discovery, go for Hubble release. Hubble is one of the most phenomenal things we've ever done in space. It really has changed and the data that we get from Hubble will continue to change the way we think about ourselves, about the universe, and our place in it. NASA, especially Goddard, was the place where I could carry out the dreams that I had which were to push forward an experiment that would measure the Big Bang radiation better than anyone had ever tried before. Nowadays, we're discovering uh, what is the universe really like, and it's totally magnificent. One can only be inspired and awestruck by what we find. Houston, Atlanta, so we have capture. Well, I was extremely fortunate that I was able to be part of the Shuttle Mir program. It's a challenge for the Russians, it was a challenge for the Americans, but everybody wanted to work together to make it come to pass. We have initial contact, initial contact of the Soyuz capsule with the Expedition 1 crew to the International Space Station. We are on a true spaceship now, making our way above any earthly boundary. Spaceflight is one of the areas where we face risk on a daily basis. And in the process of doing this, we develop the new technologies, new techniques, the new inventions we make discovery. Liftoff of the Delta rocket with opportunity, a chance to explore and unlock the secrets of our neighboring planet. When we look at other worlds and we look through the eyes of a robot at a frozen desert, we appreciate our own world so much more because we see what it could be like. When you arrive on the International Space Station, there's a little bit of a shock factor. It was like, wow, we're really here. Man, this is going to be a long visit. We are overcoming these cultural obstacles and bringing these people together uh, with this common goal, I think is one of the most significant aspects of the International Space Station. I believe that uh, human beings uh, should expand into space. By uh, doing that, we can learn about ourselves and uh, make the society and the world better. We will give NASA a new focus and vision for future exploration, to gain a new foothold on the moon, and to prepare for new journeys to the worlds beyond our own. I'd like to see the, the mission to Mars be accomplished. It was something I did some work on in making the proposal we made. I think there's a consensus that going to Mars is a worthy objective, and I'd like to see that accomplished. Perhaps at one time in the distant past, the at least some basic life forms existed on Mars and perhaps could again in the future. These things mean a lot to me. I think space is important and I think America should continue to be in the forefront of space exploration. We as a civilization must explore. That's who we are. Intrinsically, that's who the human race is. We're explorers. No matter where you go in the world, people know what the letters N-A-S-A -A stand for. They say NASA and they say it with recognition. That in and of itself tells you that NASA stands for something in the world, not just in America, but across the world. As we advance into the 21st century, we have new goals that will challenge our abilities far beyond what we've experienced before. It will be a test of our scientific and technical vision. It will be a test of our resolve. But we've been there before, and with the lessons of history in mind, 
NASA will continue to pioneer new frontiers and explore for answers that power our future. And another 50 years of inspiration, innovation, and discovery.